this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and I am so excited to dive into the latest, greatest version of Adobe Premiere Elements. It's Premiere Elements 2018 and it's got a lot of really great features. So I think this idea of automatic editing of your action cam footage is kind of a big new thing these days in video editing. It's perfect for action cameras like GoPros, it's perfect for hobby videos and family movies and things like that where lots of people are all of a sudden realizing they have all these clips and some things need to be edited out and they need to edit different clips together and it gets overwhelming really quickly. Well, the folks over at Adobe have added an action cam guided edit to the Premiere Elements 2018 and today I'm partnering with them to bring you this tutorial and some tips and tricks for editing your action cam footage like from your GoPro or your drone, anything where you have kind of a wide angle lens. I'm going to show you the smart trim function which I love that's that kind of automatic editing that I was talking about we're also going to talk about the lens distortion removal so if you have a super wide angle and you're not really liking that fisheye effect you can actually reduce that within Premiere Elements 18 and then we're going to talk a little bit about color correction the action cam guided edit keeps it really simple and easy for you because color correction can be a little bit of a balancing act I will probably do a dedicated tutorial on color correction so today we're just gonna keep it nice and easy but do make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you can get my future Premiere Elements tutorials when I publish them I got more coming at you so let's stay in touch here and if you are totally new to Premiere Elements and video editing in general I have a cheat sheet for you that you can either download and print out or save it on your tablet or your phone for easy reference this covers the basic steps of what to do when you first start a project and and then what to do when you're done with your project and you want to export it as a video and I sprinkled in a bunch of other uh, of my favorite video editing tips in there as well so I put a link to that down in the description below this video but don't click it yet just watch this video and I'll remind you at the end so let's hop onto my computer and get started with this action cam guided edit okay so I have Adobe Premiere Elements 2018 opened up here on my desktop um, now I'm on a Mac but if you're on a PC don't freak out it should look exactly or pretty much exactly the same for you so up here across the top um, if you're not familiar we have the quick uh, edit mode this is a really simple timeline this is great for just getting started with the project or if you're brand new to video editing and then there's the expert edit mode which looks a little bit similar but you do have more options and special effects and things like that available uh, but today we're going to stick right here in the middle in the guided edits section so um we are going to actually come here under video adjustments and then this one for fixed action cam footage that's the one that we want now one of the great things about the guided edit feature here in premiere elements is that uh, it walks you through step by step everything it shows you exactly where to click and what to do so you really can't mess anything up so if you're one of those people that is afraid to like click a new button because you don't know what it's going to do it doesn't let you click any Anything that you're not supposed to click so it's perfect for learning how to edit your videos and how to use the software so up here on the left hand side it's telling us exactly what we need to do we need to add some media to this brand new project so I'm gonna hit this button here add media now I have um, I know I have a GoPro file here on my desktop I'm going to import just this one file for right now and this is going to go into the project assets bin so you have your add media button and then right next to that any any media that you add any video clips still photos background music it's all going to go into your project assets bin right here so next it wants us to select our clip so I'm going to select it I'm going to drag it down to the timeline just like it asks me to do and then it's going to move on to the next step so this is just kind of giving you an an, an overview of what the fix action cam clip guided edit will do so we're going to find the best scenes of this clip we're going to adjust the color and we're going to move remove the lens distortion from this clip so you can definitely see we have some lens distortion back here so i'm going to hit next so it wants us to select our clip. We're going to select it 
right there. And then we're going to hit next. And over here on the right hand side, it's telling us to open up the tools panel. So we're going to open that up. It's going to slide a panel open for us. We're going to hit this smart trim right here. And this opens up kind of a whole new window. And what this is doing is analyzing this one clip. This one clip is one minute and 42 seconds long. So it even tells you here that this may take a little while to do this. And what it's basically doing is analyzing the clip to see where it thinks that maybe you might want to um, edit out some, some of the clips. So it's basically going to give you an indication, kind of make some selections for you based on its own analyzing of your clip. Now, this particular clip isn't that exciting. It's my daughter basically dancing on the deck of a cruise ship. <laughs> uh, but um, I really wanted to find a clip for this tutorial that had some lens distortion and would be good to color correct and things like that. So that's why I chose this clip. Okay, so it's done analyzing. I wanna move this little box out of the way so we can actually see our clip. So it's done analyzing and what this did, you can see that we have these little blue boxes these are the selections that the software has essentially made automatically and said, we think we think these are the clips that you should keep in your video. You can see how much it actually said, you know, maybe get rid of this. So where it's uh, grayed out here, um, this these are the parts that would be edited out of our final video. Now, just to note, th it's not really editing anything out of your original footage, right? You still have those videos files um, as long as you keep them on your hard drive they'll be intact it's not like actually cutting them up or anything right this is just for the project now this tells us we can fine-tune things manually if we want to so I just hit this little uh, this little box here the little video camera box and you can take your little hand tool here and you can adjust these things. Now one of the things I really like about editing videos this way is that you're focusing on what you want to keep in your final video instead of just throwing your clips on a timeline and trying to figure out what you want to edit out, right? So this is letting you focus on what you want to keep in your final video. Of course you can go in and, and still make trims and cuts and edits and things like that. Um, but this is kind of a good first step to getting a nice rough cut of a video just kind of keeping the best moments of your clip here um, so we can make these manual selections if we want to um, we can also um, we can come over here and we can say you know it, it analyzed it as if it was an action clip mm, I don't know if it's really considered an action clip so if I come over here and hit people it's going to warn me that these scene selections will be removed, not the actual, you know, clips, just the selections will be removed. Do I want to continue? I'm going to hit yes. Now it almost like re-edited it for us. It said, oh, you want to focus on people instead of action. And now it has selected some clips that are more focused on the people in the video. And if we select mix then it's going to give us a little bit of a mix of both. So, um, and then, like I said, you can just, you can move these if you want to make some manual adjustments. So I'm going to leave everything as is, okay? This is a, got, giving me a lot of, a lot of selections here to work with. I'm gonna hit next. Next, it wants me to preview. So we can preview the selections that it has made for us here. Now, this is a little bit choppy. The playback on my computer is always really choppy when I'm also recording a screencast. So it makes it a little bit difficult. So I'm not going to preview this whole thing because um, it's just not going to work real well. So I'm just going to hit next. And next it wants us to hit this export merged button down here on the bottom right. So you do have two options. Um, the export merged is gonna take all of these blue selections. It's gonna export it back to um, that main timeline where we started. And it's they're all gonna be together as one clip. If we hit export individual, then each of these individually will be exported as individual clips. So it's asking us to export merged. So I'm going to hit export merged. 
And you can see we're back to our main timeline here. And all of those clips are now edited into one clip. So the next step here, it says that we should remove some lens distortion. So I'm gonna hit the effects button here like it's telling me to. And it's asking us to take this lens distortion effect right here and drag it down to our clip. So that applies the lens distortion to our clip and you can see that it actually did a little bit of work for us. I still need to move this window around. It did a little bit of the work for us. It it went to a negative 20 here. So it tells us to move the curvature slider to the left um, to remove the fisheye effect. So um, we can do a little more if we want to. We can do it less if we want to. That looks a little too far. You can see it's kind of curving up a tiny bit. So I can go back uh, just a little ways and see if that's any better or any different. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. I think it's all right. You know, it really depends, you know, how you want your footage to look, right? So some people really like that um, fisheye effect. Some people don't. I don't really mind it usually. But when you do have footage of something that you know is supposed to be a straight line, like a railing <laughs> like this, then sometimes it does kind of look, you know, a little bit awkward. So I think I'm just going to stick with this uh, negative 20 here and we'll, we'll go with that. I think that looks fine. I'm going to hit the next button. And now I'm going to move this again. Um, it says to hit this adjustments on the right hand side. So I'm going to hit that. This opens up another menu for us. We want to hit color. And then it says select the appropriate hue, lightness, and saturation from the presets. So what these are here is they're presets. So um, if we wanted to adjust the hue, of this particular video clip. I could hit this purple one, it's gonna make things look a little bit purple. If I hit the green one, it's gonna make things look a little bit green. Um, I don't think I really want to mess with the hue on this one, so I'm just gonna hit reset. It's gonna go back, it's got that nice, beautiful Caribbean blue color in the background there. Um, lightness, we can, um, let's see, if we thought this was too light, we could darken it up just a little bit. A little bit more if we wanted to um, or if we thought it was a little too dark we can lighten it a little bit that was like a little too far so I'm gonna just stick right here in the middle and then under saturation if we wanted to take a lot of the color out we could hit this one in the bottom right and it's basically black and white right um, if we wanted to be really punchy and really saturated then you would want to go to the one up here in the top left so that's a, a little too far it's quite a bit too far so I'm gonna come back here um, in the middle and of course, you don't have to adjust your colors um, in your footage, right? You don't have to make these adjustments. This is only here for you if you feel like you need it. But I'm actually going to hit the reset button, and that's where we—that's where we're at here at the beginning. So I'm going to hit next, and it tells us to click play to preview our movie. I'm going to hit this green check mark. So that covers the Action Cam Fix tool and the guided edits for Premiere Elements 2018. So from here, obviously I only have one clip edited. From here, you could go back and add more media or maybe you have some other assets here in your project assets and just start editing from there because now you know all of the steps beginning to end exactly what you need to do. Now, once you have all this stuff down here on the timeline, Line. maybe you have a couple of clips you can still edit just like normal trimming and splitting and all that kind of good stuff but um, for the most part if you just stick to the exact steps that you learn in that guided edit then you'll be good to go so now once I have completed the guided edit I'm here in the timeline and I want to do a couple of things just to this one example clip um, I added some background music because it's always fun to have background music and in in order to make the background music work with this clip, I wanted to rearrange things just a little bit. So 
Um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm also shortening some of these clips here and recutting just in a few places just to kind of get it just right. So I'm pretty happy with things look after doing most of the work in the guided edit and then just doing a little bit of tweaking afterwards. So I'm gonna export this and I'll show you the final result. <laughs> looked at Premiere Elements 2018 for your video editing, I highly recommend it. It's perfect for beginners, but then there's advanced functions as well. There's a link down in the description below this video so that you can get a 30-day free trial. You don't even have to put in your credit card. Just download it and give it a test drive. Just follow my cheat sheet for getting started. I linked to that down below. I told you I would remind you. With that, plus knowing how to use the action cam guided edit, you'll be good to go. So hit that like button if this video was helpful for you, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions specific to Premiere Elements and if there are any tutorials and how to's that you'd like to see from me in the future. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you actually see my tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye!